Good day future LPTs. So in today's review video, we will be discussing the difference between the Bloom's cognitive taxonomy and the Anderson's cognitive taxonomy. So before we start our discussion, let's first uh, answer this pre-assessment. First question, what level in the taxonomy when students tried to demonstrate the concept of forces in punching? A. Application B. Comprehension C. Analysis Next question Question 2 What level in the taxonomy when a student tried to weigh the concepts difficulty of types of forces? A. Evaluation B. Synthesis C. Knowledge Next question, what level in the taxonomy when a student tried to formulate new concept using rotational motion, forces, and pennies? A. Evaluation B. Synthesis C. Knowledge Fourth question, it is taxonomy in education where creation was the highest level in the cognitive domain. A. Kratwall's taxonomy. B. Bloom's taxonomy. C. Anderson's taxonomy. So last question. Everything was guided by using taxonomy in education except for A. Learning Environment B. Curriculum and C. Instructional Methods So what is taxonomy in education and why is it important? So this taxonomy is the classification um, system that is used to define and distinguish different levels of human cognition. These human cognitions are composed of thinking, learning, and understanding. So, typically um, or commonly, educators use Bloom's taxonomy because it was more popular than the Anderson's. So, it is used to inform and direct the development and enhancement of the assessments, the curriculum, and the instructional methods. So, this taxonomy directs the development of assessment. Assessment is composed of evaluation, testing and performances also it uh, directs curriculum curriculum involves chapters of lessons the lessons themselves the courses the discipline the projects the requirements and the learning activities and lastly it directs the instructional methods methods are composed of approaches the teaching method, by the learning method, and the questioning strategies. So this uh, taxonomy is used to guide diba, and assist the creation of the lesson objectives. So itong mga words that could be found in the Bloom's and Anderson taxonomy are used when crafting the lesson objectives or learning objectives. So Bloom's taxonomy of cognitive domain. So this is classified into six different levels, wherein knowledge was the lowest, lowest level of cognitive domain 
and evaluation was the highest level of cognitive domain. Now, uh, by explaining it, we will try it to uh, integrate in forces as an example. So, force is a physics concept. So, in the knowledge level, ang force ay just the push or pull. Or nalaman lang natin that its equation is force equals to mass times acceleration. So, yun lang ang knowledge on forces. Next, if you tried to understand, tried to comprehend the forces, then you will understand that if you if two objects interacted to each other, then there is a force exerted on it. Um, if these two objects diba, ceases to interact, then there is no um, forces exerted on it. Hindi uh, na sila makaka-experience ng force. And kapag ang object ay tinulak or hinila, then that is already exerting force. If an object accelerated due to external uh, external force, then it is already a force. Diba? So, kapag ang object ay uh, nag-accelerate, pero hindi naman siya na-exert or naka-experience ng external force, then it is not force at all. It is just acceleration. Okay. Ayun yung, dun papasok yung comprehension of forces. Next is application. Pagdating sa application, you will try to apply it. Diba? You will try to experiment on it. Na kapag tinulak mo ba is bibilis ba? Kapag hinila mo ba is diba? bibilis rin ba? Or babagal? Or kapag inupuan mo, anong mangyayari? Diba? So, applying it or simply experimenting on it. Diba? Or not necessarily experimenting, i-apply mo na siya sa daily life. Yung forces. That is application. Next, analysis. Dito na papasok yung iintindihin mo yung forces based on its application. Now, kapag hinila mo ba or tinulak mo ba is mag accelerate or not? Kapag mas mabigat ba yung uh, mas mabigat yung mass is mas mabilis yung acceleration or mas mabagal pa rin. Diba? Dito na papasok sa analysis yung pag-question doon sa mga variables, sa phenomena, or sa concept itself. And through series of experimentation, mas maiintindihan yung mga kasagutan doon sa questions. So, yun yung analysis. And next is synthesis. Synthesis is the crafting of something new. So, paano ba natin ito i-apply sa forces? For example, um, you will try a, uh, the force, you will try to apply the force into new different concepts. For example, you will try to uh, use the concept of force in making a pulley or in creating a wheel, di ba? O kaya, gusto mong i-apply yung force into new sports, di ba? By synthesis, you are applying different concepts to form a new whole concept. That is synthesis. And next, evaluation. Then you will uh, make judgment criticisms, di ba? Out of your work, out of your synthesis. Yun yung sinasabi natin, evaluation. Kaya evaluation, ang pinakamataas na level. Ulitin ko lang, synthesis, magka-craft ka ng bago, analysis, you are questioning 
the concepts, application, i-apply mo through experimentations or in real life, comprehension, iintindihan mo lang, and knowledge, these are the information that you have gathered. And that is the Bloom's Taxonomy of Cognitive Domain. Next is the Understood's Taxonomy. So, this taxonomy is um, based from the Bloom's Taxonomy also. So, if you understood the Bloom's Taxonomy using the forces concepts kanina, then it is almost the same. Diba? Rem uh, you recall, diba? you have knowledge on it, and you understand how um, forces works, and you have applied it in real life or in experimentation. Diba? And next, eh, you have connected those concepts uh, you have examined the forces kung what will happen after how you have experimented on it diba? ayun sa analyze and you make questions you answer those questions that you conclude so sa analysis na yun. next sa uh, evaluation at eh, dito na nagkakaiba Sa Anderson's Taxonomy and Bloom's Taxonomy. Kasi kanina sa Bloom's, di ba? Um, evaluation yung huli. Pero dito kasi, evaluation yung nauna. After you have analyzed it, you evaluate it, you make an argument. Diba? You select which is true, which is not true. Uh, you select which is true or false. Yun. You critic it. You critic your analysis. Tama ba yung analysis mo? O mali? You weigh its importance, its, you weigh its difficulty, diba? complexity. Ano ba yung surface knowledge lang? Ano ba yung deeper knowledge? Or ano ba yung pang pwede mong i-apply sa others? Diba? You weigh it. Diba? So, yung evaluation. Next, creation, you design another concept based from what you have evaluated. Diba? You design, you construct another concept by integrating it from other concepts. For example, you integrate the force in rotation and ano create mo dun? You integrate forces in sports. You integrated forces in sounds. Diba? So, doon napapasok yung creation or synthesis in terms on Bloom's um, terms. Now, let's try to analyze the difference between the Bloom's Cognitive Taxonomy and the Anderson's Taxonomy. So, first is, Bloom's Taxonomy is noun. Noun form yung our words. And in Anderson's, verb form yung words. Next is the, ano lang, terms are different. Knowledge sa Blooms and remember sa Andersons, comprehension and understand naman sa Andersons. Application and apply, analysis and analyze. Then synthesis sa Blooms and create naman sa Andersons. Meanwhile, evaluation sa Blooms and evalu evaluation sa Blooms and evaluate naman sa Andersons. Then next na pinakaiba nila is that yan. Yung synthesis, fit level lang siya sa Blooms. Meanwhile, sa Andersons, create ang pinakamataas na level. And dito sa Blooms, evaluation yung pinakamataas na level and evaluate yung fifth level sa Andersons. So, ano bang paliwanag dito sa Blooms? It is that you should create first, you should be able to create first before you can critic, make judgment, we appraise and so on. 
Meanwhile, sa Andersons, you must first uh, know how to critic it, critic your work. You must first weigh your work, appraise your work, diba? Before you can construct. Para tama na siya agad. If you have constructed. Sa Blooms kasi, create ka muna bago mo i-critic kung may tama ba o mali. Pero dito sa Andersons, kailangan alam mo muna yung tama at mali. ba? Diba? Bago mo siya i-create. Bago ka mag-create. Yun yung pinagkaiba nila. So, why was um, taxonomy important? So, because it is used in um, forming lesson objectives na may kita or magmamanifest sa lesson plans, di ba? Mas malinaw yung plan for instruction or delivered. Yeah. And makakapag-design ng validated assessment task or strategies if ginamita ng taxonomy, yung creation of lesson objectives. Mas organize yung thoughts in the lesson plan. Diba? And may ensure na yung objectives are aligned with the content. So, kaya importante yung tax, this, importante yung usage or utilization of taxonomy in education. So, at level in the taxonomy, when student tried to demonstrate the concept of forces in punching, so, the answer is A, application. Why? Because the student demonstrated it or simply applied the concept of forces in punching. Second question, what level in taxonomy when student try to weigh the concepts difficulties of type of forces? The answer is evaluation. Why? Because he tried to weigh, you know, weigh. Kinritik niya, ginudge niya, kung alin ba dito sa mga yan, yung pinakamahirap at less na mahirap na concepts in forces. Next, what level in the taxonomy when student tried to formulate new concept using rotational motion, forces, and tennis? The answer is B, synthesis. Because the students designed or formulated, diba, tried to integrate these different concepts to form another concept or a new concept. Kaya synthesis. Next, it is it, the taxonomy in education where creation was the highest level in the cognitive domain. The answer is Anderson's. Kasi sa Bloom's evaluation or yung pinakamataas. And lastly, everything was guided by using taxonomy in education except for A. Learning environment. So, hindi siya kasama sa mga kinaguide when developing this curriculum and instructional methods. These are the references for this presentation.